this beautiful woman that was rubbing her face against the chest of an old man who looked like a skeleton the strange thing is that there is a lot of liquid coming out of the old man's body the old man's name is Wad. He has tens of billions of dollars in assets and a young and beautiful wife only because of a strange disease to become like this he can only drink water every day but the strange thing is that even after drinking hundreds of bottles of water, the body is getting less and less. Hydrated even at certain times of the day the body will be like a geyser of water spurting out of the body, and the whole body twitching, painful because of the lack of moisture in his body, his body was like a mummified corpse 80 world-renowned doctors cut Wad's body, extracted his blood, and even tasted his urine, but the results were in vain. The long illness made him more like a 100-year-old man the little wife he married grew disappointed with him she often met the housekeeper privately to satisfy her desires and this situation continues until a strange man arrives he called himself Black Jack. He is a renowned medical genius in the medical field. Although he does not have a license to practice medicine, his fees are as high as $3 million, and rumors have it that there is no disease he cannot cure in order to survive. Wad had to agree the basement of the old castle has been transformed into an operating room it has the most advanced medical equipment in the world, but it lacks a doctor who can handle it Sayuri so asked Black Jack to save her husband. Without saying a word, Black Jack walked straight into the data room he began to study the medical records left by past doctors. These are the records of many of the world's leading doctors. Attempts were made to culture the blood, but no pathogens were produced. But Wad's physical and mental decay from the pain was increasing every day. Sooner or later, he would die. Black Jack is at a loss. Sayuri came to the door again late at night. It turns out she is five months pregnant. Even though the housekeeper keeps pestering her, Sayuri is determined to break off the relationship. She is convinced that she is carrying Wad's child. So she begs Black Jack to find a way to save her husband. She was willing to pay any price for it. Black Jack, of course, understands Sayuri's point. But he wasn't interested in women. And knowing that there was no other way out of this situation. So he devoted all his time to research and finally found a fatal flaw. Although doctors cut open Wad's painful area numerous times, without exception, surgery was performed after the onset of the attack. If surgery could be performed while the patient was having an attack, we would have known what was going on in the patient's body. But operating on a person who is having a seizure and is in spasm is almost impossible to do. But the next day, a young boy inspired Black Jack. The boy was just a thief who had sneaked into the castle to steal something. He was bitten by the guard dog and got help from Black Jack. The only reason he stole it was to build a well because his father had the chimera virus and would die from the virus if he didn't drink from a good water source. This statement instantly touched Black Jack's intuition, telling him that this matter is definitely related to Wad's disease. The boy's father did have similar symptoms, his body was as thin and dry as a corpse. He had to keep drinking water to relieve the pain, but this time the boy's father couldn't hold out and died in pain after a strange blue light emanated from his mouth and eyes. The sound of the boy's crying attracted the villagers, as did the late arrival of the local doctor. From the female doctor, Black Jack learns that the Chimera virus has been extinct since 150 years ago. Legend has it that a person with the disease can only live 3 to 10 years at most. Every day before he dies, he suffers. Drinking water provides brief relief, but the next attack is exacerbated until the patient eventually spits out a blue light and dies. The female doctor's brother also suffered from the disease. After obtaining their medical licenses in England, the two siblings immediately returned to the island to fight the chimera virus. But now the brother is tormented by the pain, but the sister cannot even do anything. Black Jack has just returned to the castle. Sayuri is in danger because she accidentally fell in the bathroom, and the fetus in her womb is now extremely unstable. If Black Jack does not arrive on time, both mother and child may die. At the same time, Wad also found the housekeeper. In fact, he already knew about the affair between the two of them, but due to his poor health, he ignored it. Now that Sayuri was no longer interested in the housekeeper, he ordered him to leave immediately. After an all-night rescue, Black Jack manages to save both mother and son with his superb medical skills and immediately investigates the water source of the castle. He finds out that a huge pump has extracted the underground water from the deepest part of the island. This is arguably the best water source on the island. That's why Wad has been sick for seven years and is still alive. Perhaps Black Jack's healing skills were recognized by Wad, or he knew he would not live long. 
Wad not only decided to give Black Jack an extra 200,000 bounty, he also told the story of his life. It turns out Wad lived here until he was 10 years old. But somehow the Chimera virus suddenly broke out on a small scale. Only his own family got sick one by one, but the disease was quickly brought under control. Fearing infection, the village quickly united and burned Wad's family to death before the outbreak was complete. Only Wad survived by jumping into the well to escape the villagers' persecution. Strangely enough, Wad did not get sick afterwards. He left the island. After decades of hard work, he finally achieved fame and fortune. He married his wife Sayuri, who was 40 years younger than him. He thought he could enjoy his life, but then the Chimera virus came back to him. He had a feeling that next time he would die with a blue light coming out of his mouth. So he begs Black Jack to operate on him during the next attack. He hopes to die to solve the mystery of the Chimera virus. But little did Wad know that the villagers would repeat their evil deeds before the disease struck because now the Chimera virus is back and Wad has the island's best water source all to himself. The ugliness of human nature is once again on display. Everyone is pointing their hatred at Wad. The scythe was raised again, ready to do the so-called stupid justice again. At the same time, the first winter snow fell. Sayuri asked the servant where her husband was because she knows Wad likes to see snow. He would be very happy if he could be with him. On the way to the operating table, Wad saw the beauty of the scenery. When he suddenly remembered something, Black Jack thought he had forgotten something. But Wad said he hadn't said good morning to Sayuri today. He used to say that every day, but he better not today. He didn't want to make anyone worry anymore. Just after reaching the basement, Wad's last illness immediately kicked in. The whole person began to convulse violently, even though the general anesthetic did not have any effect. Black Jack was hesitant because he had no confidence in the operation. Although Wad was constantly howling, his eyes kept indicating that Black Jack had finally used his excellent skills to open Wad's chest cavity with a scalpel. At this time, Wad's heart aorta was emitting blue light. Then Wad spit out the blue light and died. At this point, the villagers have turned into devils for the sake of justice and are bound to burn down the entire castle. But the butler did not run away. He first came to Sayuri's room. He hid her and the servant in the closet. Then he grabbed an iron bar and prepared to resist, but was killed by the villagers with just one blow. In this melee, light and darkness have been confused. The only thing that stood out was the flaming fortress. All they saw was Wad's body. The old man had never hated anyone. He even tried to use his death to unlock the secret of the Chimera virus. But he was still hated and disliked by the villagers. Black Jack, who was never angry, finally couldn't help himself and let out a helpless roar. As to whether Sayuri was still alive afterwards, no one knows. Years later, the legendary Chimera virus was known to the world. It is a virus that hides. Because it is between the walls of the aorta blood vessels and the sandwich, only when the onset of the patient's chest opens can it be seen, otherwise, it cannot be found. Although the clues were found, there is still no cure for this disease. The discovery of the virus was made by the great Dr. Minea. The hosts could not help but admire Minea's skill in operating on patients with full body spasm. Minea just smiled and said that it was a mysterious and great patient who gave his life to unravel the mystery of the Chimera virus.